So welcome back to Exam Learn's videos on sequences and series. So these are part of the educational videos for high level maths for the Leaving Cert. Uh, here's the logo up in the top right corner. And if you click on the link in the description that goes to the website, you can see all of the cool free features there. Like you can view your uh, marking scheme and your exam paper side by side. You can view all of the questions by topic all completely for free. And if you want to sign up as well, you can pay for A1 grade study notes in every subject. Uh, but anyway, I'll just jump straight into sequences and series now. So this is, um, again, part of the Leaving Cert Maths course. It's on paper one. You get maybe 25 or 50 marks uh, question on sequences and series. I'm just going to give a brief overview of what we're going to cover in the playlist in this video. So first we're going to look at uh, arithmetic sequences, then arithmetic series, then geometric sequences, geometric series, infinite geometric series, quadratic sequences, and then picture sequences or patterns. So they sound more complicated than they are, to be honest. They're just kind of fancy words. Um, so yeah, the first thing we're going to look at is fix this a sequence. So what is a sequence? Kind of. So we need to know just the difference between a sequence and a series. So sequence is the most basic definition is just uh, oh, I fixed that. So it's a list of numbers, a list of numbers. Uh, normally a rule governs this. Okay, so it's not just a random list, but is one number coming after another uh, or something like that. Then a series, the difference between a sequence and a series. A series, a different color as well. Uh, it's basically a sum of a sequence. So, so it's all the numbers in a sequence added together. So go down here and I'll give you guys an example. So this here is a sequence of numbers. They normally say T of N for sequences. Okay, so T of N, you'll just get used to that. Uh, so one, then comma four, nine, 16, 25. So they're all just numbers squared. That's one squared, two squared, three squared, four squared, five squared, etc. That doesn't really matter. So we're gonna look then the difference between that and a series then. So just I'll say series. So that's gonna be a sequence first. Sequence, series then will be S of N, okay, that's what they use for series, and it's gonna be one plus four, plus nine, plus 16, plus 25. So it's really similar, you just add them all together, okay? And that's the main difference between sequence and series, and then quickly, okay, and this is just an intro video, but I'm gonna go over two really, really important sequences, um, said two really famous sequences that uh, that I think they might ask on the paper one year just because they're really famous and they're they're not too difficult but it's just if you have if you've seen them before it'll help a lot in the exam it could kind of throw you so two famous sequences the first one is called the Fibonacci sequence okay Fibonacci like that uh, and the sequence goes it's one one two three five eight, 13, 21, and then it keeps going. So the rule here, I'll go green, it's two numbers before added to get the next number. Sorry about the handwriting, but the so idea is the two numbers before each number, you add those together and you get, say, the next number. So, for example, 1 plus 1 is 2, then 1 plus 2 is 3, which is the next number. So then 2 plus 3 is equal to the next number, which is 5. 3 plus 5 is 18, or is 8, sorry. 5 plus 8, 13. 8 plus 13, 21, etc. You can keep going. Um, so just if they ask something like this, then you know exactly what the rule is uh, and you can just figure that out. It might help you a little bit in the exam. And then the next one we're going to look at is called Pascal's Triangle. So, Pascal's triangle. Okay, and this is a bit of a weird one. So, it's going to go 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 3, 1, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. And so on, okay? So what's happening in Pascal's triangle is uh, it's always ones along the outside like that. And um, yeah, it's, it's the number, in, it's kind of like the number in the, the next row is just add, you add together the two numbers on top of that. So for example, so th these are all just one. Then this one here is going to be one plus one is equal to two here in the middle. Yeah. And then this number three, so it's one plus two is equal to three. Two plus one is equal to three. 
and then it's just again one so then one plus three is four three plus three is six and three plus one is four so the numbers in the middle here are always the sum of the two numbers in front of them does that make sense uh, so i just wanted to cover those just in case they do ask them you don't need to know too much more about them there are loads of cool things about these and they come up in nature all the time but just for the leaving cert as long as you can recognize them that should definitely help you a lot so yeah again that's uh, it for the intro and um, don't forget to check out exam learn like subscribe and like to the videos and if you want you can just skip ahead to whichever topic you're struggling with or if you want to go through the whole thing in a row uh, that's good as well but so we you don't miss anything so anyway we'll see you in the next video i hope you enjoyed this one